Okay, so now the UK Member of Parliament and Minister for Armed Forces, James Heapy, says military action alone will not help West African countries to eliminate terrorism. He says a strong political commitment uh, in, uh, is also important to deal with the situation. Speaking in an exclusive interview with Joy News, uh, Maxwell Agbaba, he said most of the conditions that give rise to insurgency and violent extremism in other African countries are non-existent in Ghana as the country is democratic. The minister is in Ghana to deepen the UK-Ghana Security and Defence Partnership and also promote the UK's continued commitment to security in northern Ghana following an increase in attacks against uh, Togo and other West African countries. Equipment, it brings with it training, yeah. it brings with it operating together, mm. uh, it brings with it that you will see Royal Navy ships more often. HMS Trent was here last autumn, yeah. she'll come again this autumn. Mm. Uh, You'll see more members of the British Army down here training alongside the Ghanaian Army. You'll see more members of the Ghanaian Army going up to the UK yeah. to train alongside the British Army. You, just so much opportunity, but all because Ghana has put its hand up and said, we'll lead. We will, you know, we, we're a Security Council member. We've got the presidency uh, of, of, um, of ECOWAS. We will, we will lead in our region. Yeah. And we want to support you in that leadership. Mm. Interesting. Now, we've, we've heard of the increasing, you know, um, threats of terrorism within the West African coastal states. And in the past days, we've heard of attacks in Nigeria, actually, in a church. Um, quite a horrific attack. Very horrific, I should say. And we've heard of attacks in um, Benin. We've seen attacks in Côte d'Ivoire. Ghana remains the oasis in this desert you know of instability that we continue to see um, in our part of the world but Ghana is also under threat as it stands you know right now I want to find out the UK government certainly have the advanced technology the logistics and you pick up the real intelligence I want to find out what what kind of intelligence that you find out about these increase in terror attacks um, and plans to you know attack West African coastal states well, look, first of all, mm. um, it is no coincidence that Ghana is the last of the literal West African states to experience violence on its own soil. That is the consequence of the fact that Ghana is a very strong state with uh, governance that extends all the way to its borders. Mm. Uh, you are democratic, you are... Um, you are fair in the way that you apply justice. You, as a government, seek to develop the economy across the whole of your country. Mm. And so, so many of the conditions that cause yeah. grievance and instability and insecurity mm -hmm. that allow the insurgents to exploit, yeah. Ghana has none of because of the way that you run your country. And that mm. is to be applauded. And that's quickly not to say that in, in the case of your neighbours, they, mm. they don't. But Ghana is just an exemplar that, that I think you, you should, you should recognise that, that, that yeah. it's not that you've been lucky. You, are, you deserve the fact that you are the hardest of the West African states. And that's uh, how we wrap up uh, today's uh, bulletin for you here. There's more news and information on myjoyonline.com. My name is Samuel Kojo Brace. Do enjoy the rest of our shows. Good morning.